Hey ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? This is Charlie from The Average Guy Fishing. Bringing you another episode. Before we get started, this episode is brought to you by Sox Renovation Design out of Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. Your local home improvement contractor specializing in kitchen and bath remodels. Now that that's out of the way, let's also go ahead and say subscribe. Hit the like button. Smash the notification icon and leave a comment. All right, got a package in the mail. Brought to my house. Now, a lot of you guys don't know this, but I am a <coughs> subscriber to Monthly Baits. Uh, as of right now, I'm only subscribed. This is my first Monster Bass subscription I got the other day. I've been waiting to open it up and do a little video. I had to have a place to do it, and I can't do it in my house because it's loud. So I decided to do it in the car today. Awesome. Amazing. Great. And I'll subscribe to the Super uh, Six Cent Super Sack, the premium sack. And I'll tell you what, them boys, they have never let me down. Their product is amazing. Their bags are great. Starting uh, this month, I will be subscribing to the Mystery Tackle Box as well. And I'm thinking maybe in December, I will do a head-to-head -head on these and review all three of them for you guys since, you know, the bites have slowed down just a little bit. Now, I was fishing yesterday, and I was using my standard half-inch black Hummer Guggen Buzz bait. Smashing a nice little three-pound, six-ounce largemouth. Loved it. Loved every minute of it. I actually have that on film, and I'm going to try to get it to go into this film once I learn how to edit, because I haven't learned that part yet. As you can tell, I'm working with a new setup. My wife got me a new camera, and I'm technologically slow. <laughs> So I might have to get one of my kids, like my four-year-old, to show me how to do all this, which is fine. Dallas is amazing. He's a smart little fella. All right. Now, this is my first Monster Bass bag, which I thought was a box, but this month it came in a bag. It came in a clear bag, bait bag. Boom, boom, boom. See how nice that is? That's pretty, ain't it? So let's go ahead and just crack right into this thing, and uh, let's see what we got. Let's start with the paper, like, because there's always paper. That comes with stuff. This here is the... Let's open this up. Okay, introducing. Super 6 Series. Super 6 Series. There's the Seeker 6. Dives 6 feet. Seeker 8. Dives 8 foot. And the Seeker 12 dives up to 12 foot. There's multiple... Uh, like on the 6. You have the Blue Chartreuse. Blue Sexy. Cracked. Crawl Monster. And Spring Crawl. Seeker 8. You have the Bone. The Blackout. Chartreuse. Black. Back. Uh, Crawlicious, Green Sexy, Threadfin Shad. The Seeker 12 has the Creeper Reaper. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, has a Bone, Chartreuse, Blueback, Chrome Threadfin Shad, Jade Shad, and uh, what looks like an Oneida Perch. So, we're going to be checking these out. Awesome. What else we got here? Uh, paperwork. This here's from... Monster Bass Handpicked Baits for Where You Live and Fish by Alex Rudd. Have to look into that. Uh, this here just lets me know how much stuff costs as you take it out and everything. Uh, it's a little bonus bag. It says bonus on there. So let's leave this open. And I can, as I take things out, I'll let you know the price of them. I believe I spent like $26.99 on this uh, subscription. So let's check it out. I'm going to leave that right there like that. What's this? Boom! Coupon! Get an Excite Baits XB5 free with any store purchase of $5 or more. Use code XB5 at checkout. MonsterBass.com. Boom! Uh, the XB5 is a crankbait that's worth about 9 bucks according to this little picture here. Monster Bass sticker. That's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and use this. I'm going to put this on the little terminal tackle box type style that I use. I uh, generally... Like I said, I have multiple boxes, and I keep Guggen baits with Guggen baits. I keep my six baits with six baits. My awesome Walmart Ozark Trail baits, I put them, and I still fish with them. I had good luck with them. Caught my personal best with one. Keep that. And right here we got a golden ticket by Monster Bass. This here says, watch Monster Bass Live. If Rick calls your number, you win. Every Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Boom. So I'm going to have to go check it out. Got 60 days to get your prize. Awesome. 
Now I did open up some of these. I was, this is the second time I've done this video, so you have to bear with me. My camera fell and it was horrible. Uh, we have, let's see what we got here. Big Bite Baits Pro Series. This is a four and three quarter inch coontail with a green pumpkin blue swirl. Seven in the pack. Don't really know much about Big Bite Baits, but well, we'll learn together. Let's see. Big Bite Baits, coontail worm can be used practically for every technique. Bald tail, nonlinear center core for increased action with protruding rib waves and breeze in the slightest currents. It's $4.50 at Tackle Warehouse. Boom. Cool little thing there if you can see that. What y'all think? I think we might try that with maybe a uh, Texas rig. It. Maybe throw it weightless. We don't know. We'll figure it out. Speaking of, I might just go ahead and keep everything in this bag and try to do a slam. What do you think? And this here is uh, Outfish them all. Senate floating on the spot baits. On the spot baits. So this is a 3.3 inch slim swim Mayfly Reaper 10 count. Right here. So what we got here? This is a uh, let me see if I can find it or uh, on the spot slim swim paddle tail hand poured in the US round thin profile for hypnotic swinging action and floats great on the Ned with Ned rig four dollars and twenty five cents it's pretty nice I kind of like that it uh actually matches the hatch on a lot of the bait fish in my area we have a lot of little minnows that are about this size this color that shape pretty cool I like that let's see how that dog works and what else we got? Soft, last soft plastic in here is the KVD Strike King. Perfect plastic with coffee scent and salt. KVD, as you know, is Kevin Van Dam, one of the greatest fishermen out there. As of yet, until I start. This is the Ned Ocho 9 pad, 2 and 3 quarter inch Okeechobee Crawl. So this is a Ned Rig style bait. Uh, Notch channel release bubbles when pulled through the water. Stands up when dragged across the bottom on a jig head, and it's got an exclusive coffee scent technology to mask the human scent. So I guess our scent gets on some of this bait, and it uh, might deter the fish from actually biting on it. I don't know. Maybe they don't like the smell of Old Spice. Right. It's got pretty good packaging, as you can see. Standard. It's, uh, what was it again? Two and three quarter inch. Oh, yeah, Ned Ocho. That looks like a pretty good Ned rigging job. It's got ribbed edges. Uh, it's a last tack, so it probably floats really good. And it seems pretty sturdy, so it'll hold up probably to more than one bait. If, if you know how to do the Ned rig. I just learned the Ned rig this year. And I'll tell you what, I've caught some pretty big bass that didn't want to bite on a Ned rig. That is a go-to if you got some finicky fish that do not want to bite a moving bait. What's this? <coughs> Excuse me, pardon me, sorry about that. We got a monster bass, terminal tackle. Boom, right here. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay, monster bass, terminal tackle. These razor sharp one aught Japanese saber tooth hooks. Easy weedless rigging with a variety of Ned Rig soft plastics. These will go great with those uh, KVD Ochos. Uh, designed to keep bait securely in place. These are actually kind of nice. They're more like a purple and black, I would say, with a gold and silver fleck. So let's open one up, take it out, get out of there. So, what does it say about it? Uh, razor sharp one aughts. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's got a pretty cool little head on it. A little mushroom head. Let's check the sharpness. Oh, digs in great. Yeah, I think this will definitely work. It's got a little EWG offset on it. That would be good. Might, that's going to go good with that net, that net Ocho. And with this fall bite, I tell you what, you got to slow down a little bit for these finicky old fishes. <coughs> what else we got? Oh. By Monster Bass. Here's that Seeker 6 in the cracked. Seeker 6, as I was explaining earlier, dives up to 6 feet. I guess it would be actually dive down to 6 feet. Uh, 
four to six foot, two and a half inches, weighs a half ounce and everything. So it's made with katana hooks, got a premium paint screen seam scheme, <laughs> tie it on and go crush your new personal best with this. Uh, this here is the Monster Bass Seeker 6. So let's see what they say here. The Seeker bait is a $10 bait. Rounded bill for uniquely erratic hunting action. Magnetic weight transfer system for long and accurate casting. Now I'm not quite sure what uh, that means. So I don't know. Don't really know about the magnetic casting system. So throw that over there. Uh, here we go. The CXV65. Oh, let's go back one, actually. Let me give you a good shot of this bait. It's got the bloodlines. It's kind of a bone color, and it's cracked. That way you guys can see what it looks like. I'm not going to take it out of the packaging. Well, maybe I will. No, I'm not going to take it out of the packaging because uh, I don't want to get stabbed. Back to what we was doing. This here is the... Castic Bait CXV Lipless Crank Dual Line Tie Configuration for different running depths, fast sinking and sits chin down when stationary, fish on a straight retrieve or a yo-yo action, which means you can reel it in or bounce her up and down. Uh, it's a lipless crank. It's kind of nice. It's uh, black and blue. It's the Vicious Extreme Vibration 6.5. It's a half ounce bait. It's a lipless crank, as you can see, it has, well, you probably can't see it, but it has two different ties on the back, so I guess you can, the front tie is the straight retrieve, and the back tie here, which will probably give it that more yo-yo action as you come through the water. Uh, what else? This here is the Excite Baits XB5 Crankbait, and it has a... What color is it? Chartreuse blue and black. It's the XB5, which means I don't know. It says here that it uh, it's a half ounce, dives two to five feet, two and three quarter inch. And whoopsie. It says chartreuse blue black, which you know, bright colors, great work, awesome. It says it has a weight transfer system and distinct action sound. What that means is <coughs> when you cast this. <coughs> The weight of the bait transfers to the rear of the bait to allow for the longer cast. And as you retrieve it, it actually transfers the weight to the front of the bait to give it that little tight wobble action to make it, you know, what you want. Now it says here, let's see. This here is the Excite XB-5. This is a $9 bait. Distinct rattle to track. Even the most finicky fish with a buoyant built-in buoyancy to reduce your hang-ups, wide belly designed to push water and produce strong vibration. I don't think I have a crankbait that sounds like that. Might have more of a high pitch sound. And last but not least, the Strike King Buzz King. Tri-Wing tri Buzz Bait. This is a $5 bait. Um... It is made in Costa Rica, it says. So, this produces tremendous spray for unparalleled surface disruption. And you know, with bass being an alpha fish, a predator fish, they, a lot of times, will bite off of that vibration. So, if you have a nice windy day, throw this. Uh, it has a tri-blade Diamond pattern prop, which enables a slow retrieve and a distinct squeak. Streamlined profile to go on plane quickly and slip through the cover. Now, I might actually take the on-the-spot bait and put it on here because that 3.3 Slim Swim Mayfly Reaper would probably match up pretty good. It's a small profile bait, and as you know, in the fall... You have to change your baits, you guys. Change that profile. Fish are getting more lethargic. They're not really biting that pro bigger profile bait as of right now. And it'll get slower as winter comes on. The fish will get more finicky. 
they'll bite slower. They'll bite smaller baits because they don't want to move around. They're cold. They're tired. They're hungry. Kind of like me right now waiting in there. But, uh, okay, guys, that's my episode. Uh, I know it's only been 15 minutes, and my videos haven't been super long, but now that I got the new camera set up and everything, you guys will be seeing a lot more content, a lot better content, because I am here. And I work for you. And I work for myself because I am my own company. But I want you guys to have a great day. Get out there. Do your fishing. Do your thing. Have a good one.